So, you know, just as um, you know, a few years ago, uh, uh, there was a, a Japanese soldier who was found still fighting World War II. Um, uh, so it is that probably decades from now, there will still be people denying that climate change is real. Uh, even as the sea levels slowly encroach upon them, as they find themselves literally buried be to, you know, beneath the, the surface of the ocean, they will continue to deny that climate change is real. So in that sense, uh, denial will never be uh, completely dead. There are still people who think that the Earth is flat. There are still people who think that the moon landing was a hoax. And there will still be people uh, for many years to come who I'm sure will still think that climate change is a myth. But the vast majority of serious people, and that's scientists as well as policymakers and members of the public who have been following the issue, uh, I think have come to understand that climate change is real. Um, and it is a problem. And there's a worthy debate to be had about what we do about that problem. But there's no longer a worthy debate to be had about whether the problem exists. Intellectually, the denial of human-caused global warming has been dead for a long time, simply because there are no more intellectually honest arguments uh, on that side. And that is why there is a near universal consensus amongst climate scientists that uh, humans are the dominant cause of global warming. In practice, in the public debate, of course, climate denial is and will be kept alive as a kind of a zombie because of massive funding from special interest groups, mainly from the fossil fuel industry.